Hello, my name is Nate and welcome to Nate Studio Desk. One of the biggest advantages to Revit and also ArchiCAD is the ability to share models in a shared team environment. Now in Rhino, traditionally, there's no specific plugin that allows you to share collaboratively in a team. Uh, you basically need to work on separate files and you can't sync and have, let's say, five people working on one project at a time. There is a way around this in Rhino and I want to show you one method on how to potentially collaborate with a team of multiple people on one project. Have this design as a separate block instance. And so what you could do if you were working in a collaborative environment, for instance, if you were working on this building or on this master plan, is you can work with blocks. So we can come in here and type in block manager second and this panel will come up and this will this has all my blocks and to update it it's basically just linking to a separate file and so I can come here and type update and then it will update the scheme and so this would be the equivalent to pressing sync on Revit except that you know people in this scenario people do have to be working on separate pieces um, so it's not ideal but uh, it could be a workaround uh, so let's see how this works so you come in here this is a separate file so we could have uh, Bob or whoever I don't know uh, is working on this file we move this over and uh, then save it File, save here and then I would go to block manager updated scheme and I would press update see that that element moved. So let's take a quick look at how you could do this within a building itself. Right now we're just doing one block. Is it possible to have multiple files open and corresponding uh, within a block? Let's take a look at how we could potentially uh, use this as an example for a workflow. Okay, so here's our building and this is how it would work in potentially in teamwork. We would maybe have one person develop these two spaces up here. Right now they're just pretty much, they're just uh, rough outlining of what that, that space would be. And so you could take these two elements, control C, and then I would have Rhino 6 open. Just go in here. Then I would select this and I'll go file. Actually I want the whole file the whole thing. So then I'll go file save as because I need to be very specific. Test module. Now to do this, I do think you need some type of file drive share system, either Google Drive or um, Dropbox. And then you would come back to the root file here. File. Then we go file, insert. Then I'll search for wherever I save that test module open. And then this is the crucial information embedded linked. And we're just going to do linked and as an active reference point. It's okay. And 
so then what you could do is your teammate could be continuously working on and developing this and then going back and and always checking uh, when this is being updated and so you know even you know let's say one person you have one file that's the the, the, the basic structure uh, and you can be updating and moving that block around as needed uh, and have different elements that different parts of the team are working on in these different files so let's see how this works again so let's say so oh, this is like not on the right edge uh, we need to bring this over and oh yeah we need a door by the way uh, that didn't work okay let's just move those over and then we'll go file save say oh, oh hey it's time to sync come over to here this person would press block manager and then you have your block manager here test module and then update and you can always say prompt or always update and for right now I've always had to manually update it and it could be that you can always up it will just automatically update when it saves and so this is one workaround for working in something that's somewhat similar to a live collaboration teamwork in Revit. It's not a perfect system, and as of right now, there's not a specific Rhino plugin to accomplish this. Uh, but I think working with blocks, and especially blocks within blocks, um, so for instance, now this is one block and then we could bring it back into our our main system here and let's see now I would have to go to block manager update see it says always update but it doesn't it doesn't do that that's fine though I think there would be, you know, you could probably pretty easily just put the block manager in one of there and then you're just having to click and then it, it shows up there. And so that's how you could work in a collaborative environment. Uh, let me know what you think. Have a good day.